You want to eat a big juicy red apple or an orange crunchy carrot. Then you wonder, how do I digest my food to be exact? Then you just sit there and wonder and wonder. But that will not happen anymore, children. My name is Bruno Onkwe and my project is about the digestive system. As you can see in the digestive system, it includes organs like the stomach, the small and large intestines, to less important ones, like the liver. The first part of the digestive tract starts in the mouth when you're not even chewing your food yet. What? If you want to believe me, you should go with me through this. And remember to keep your attention on the mouth, guys. That's our subject right now. Here it is. Saliva for the scientific name enzymes build up in your mouth when you, for example, see a chocolate fudge sundae with extra fudge. Then you get the chance to eat that Fiji apple. Ugh. This is what I'm talking about. Here is it. Or the humongous giant gala apple. Forget about the apples, go for the pizza pizza. Or your very own genuine special hands. When chewing your food, the tongue pushes that must up gushy food into the esophagus. That long narrow tube that links to your stomach. The esophagus is job is to use the muscles, that's right, muscles, down so you can swallow it easier. You don't want food in your throat. Did you see that curl? That's kind of what the epiglottis does in your esophagus. Now many people may not know about the epiglottis, but the epiglottis is a place where your food moves on. It's kind of like being slided down so it won't go into the respiratory place. That's the easier way to say it. Well, you wouldn't want your foot to enter into your lungs. Now I know these organs are not that important, but let's just give a few facts for them. This is the pancreas, kids. You should know at least the name of it, but okay, if you don't, now's your chance. Now, the pancreas is a gland behind the stomach. It has the job to produce hormones in a fluid-like substance that can make it easier for you to break down carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Now we are running to the liver. Who gets to know more about the liver than the other less important organs? The liver is a large medial organ that sits on the right side of your stomach. It weighs about 3 pounds and is a reddish brownish color. It feels rubber to touch. Normally you can't really feel it because it is protected by the ribcage. The liver's main job is to filter the blood coming from the digestive tract before passing it into the rest of the body. The liver also clears the chemicals and drugs that you've accidentally drank in. It does so. The liver secretes bile that ends up back in the intestines. The liver also makes proteins important for blood clotting and other functions. Now, this is the hardest organ you can guess now. It's the last of the less important organs. Can you guess what it is? Yes, the gallbladder? Well, that's probably what you would say, kids. But if you knew it, good job! The gallbladder is a small patch that just sits under the liver. The gallbladder stores bile produced by the liver. After meals, the gallbladder is empty and it's being deflated like a balloon. Before a meal, the gallbladder may be full of bile and about the size of a small pear. In response of the nervous signals, the gallbladder squeezes stored bile into the small intestines through the area of the tubes called the duct. It's like the esophagus. Bile helps digest fat, but the gallbladder itself is not essential. Moving the gallbladder is just an otherwise healthy individual, typically causing, you know, no health problems or digestion, but there may be a risk of diarrhea and fat malabsorption.
Finally, kids, let's push all the way down from the esophagus to the stomach, the J sac, where most of the digestion takes place. The stomach is the J sac organ that leads from the esophagus. The stomach features chemicals that form a barrier that blocks the chemicals from eating the stomach itself. The stomach's job is to grind and churn food that you have chewed and swallowed. Usually, most of the digestion takes place in the stomach because it takes so long, but sometimes the process can be cut short. When you have a virus, the stomach goes up the esophagus, and up from the esophagus, you empty it out of your mouth. Basically, you throw up. That's the partially digestive food that you have ate, so don't think it's just a blob that came out of nowhere. And after the stomach process, the liquid food goes into the small intestines. The small intestines is a curdle, like in a ball, well, not really a ball, like in a square form, being surrounded by the large intestines. The small intestines is connected to the stomach. The small intestines is the longest organ in your body. I know it may be called the small intestines, but it's just curled up and the large intestines is not. The small intestines is actually longer than the large intestines. It's actually longer than your body. The small intestines job is to soak up all the nutrients that your stomach has digested. Vitamins, minerals, iron, you know, really, stuff like that. The small intestine uses the suction glands called villi to soak up the vitamins and minerals in there. The small intestine is one of the organs where it has the longest process in the digestive tract, where the food takes place. The water that the small intestine can't soak up moves into the large intestine. The large intestine is featured not to be the longest organ in the body, even though it has a name. It just isn't. It's just large and fat, but not long. The large intestine soaks up all the water, so the large intestine is usually drier than the other organs because there's really no fluid. The waste in the large intestine that you don't soak up goes down, and then you urinate. Your urine is yellow when you don't drink water, and your urine is clear when you drink a lot of water. Also, some of the waste hardens and changes color and goes through the anus, but when it sucks up too much water, you become constipated. In this picture, you can see this is the face of a constipated person. Thank you for going through this digestive journey. Then again, my name is Bruno Onkwe. I'm in fifth grade and my school is Harmony School of Innovation Houston. Bye!